it's Liz again, and we're going to intro our materials for the semester to you guys. Um, and Maya's going to be helping me out by showing you a close-up version of what you're going to get, and then I'll explain what they're used for. Ta-da! So, the first thing that you guys are going to grab is a sketchbook. Preferably, it needs to be about this size, which is a 9 by 12 inch. Um, I prefer squares for myself, so if you were to get about this size accepted a square, so like a 12 by 12, that could work too. Um, it's just what you guys are comfortable with. Uh, we don't want you to go any smaller because we want you to have enough room to work. If you get much smaller than this, then you're going to be trying to get really tight lines and um, we want you to have the freedom to get bigger if you need to get bigger and it get, just getting bigger is a little bit easier than doing something really tiny. So the next thing we have is a Bristol pad and Bristol is a thicker paper than what would be in our notebooks and Bristol is a substitute for cardstock. If you would like, uh, you can go grab cardstock from besides the art center. There is another, there's a stationary store and you can grab a ream of cardstock there. But if you just wanna to go to one place, Bristol will work just fine. All right, next we have some pencils. Um, you can grab whatever pencils you feel comfortable with. Um, each of these pencils has a different kind of lead in it. Some are harder than others. Um, so a hard, whoops, this one, a hard pencil is going to create a gradient similar to this. This is the kind of pencils that you guys use for like tests and stuff in elementary school, or you guys did use. Um, this is a 2B pencil, which is the medium uh, hardness on the pencil. It's gonna make some stuff a little bit darker. And this is the 6B pencil and is the darkest value. And if you look at line quality as well, when you get to hard uh, pencil lead, you're gonna have a crisper line. And as you go out into looser lead, it's the amount of lead that's kind of like compressed together, whether they're really compressed or not so compressed being 6B. So you're gonna have more of this kind of like fuzzy line rather than a nice hard line that you would get with a H. Um, most people would say that you need all three. Personally, I don't use all three. If I were to draw, I would usually stick to one or two of these and I like to draw lighter because I naturally have a heavy hand, so I'm gonna go with the H. Now, if you have a light hand and um, you really want some dark lines, that's when you would go with a six or two B. But it's up to you and your preference. And anything that we create in this class, this is a choice. So you can choose how you want your lines to look. Um, if you don't know what you prefer, grab all three, you won't regret it. All right, so now we got pens. And pens are really interesting because most people, if you're in art, will tell you that you wanna grab these. But, um, and these are the microns. But the thing with microns is that they're a, a lot more expensive than like Sharpie markers. And there are some benefits to that. They draw really nicely, um, super pigmented, they'll last you your life. They're really, really great. But if you don't know if you're going to be doing things with pens for the rest of your life and you haven't decided, ah, I'm gonna be an artist, then it might behoove you to grab something more like a Sharpie marker because they're more cost effective. And for what you guys will be doing, it's going to be about the same quality. This one does get a finer uh, pen tip and this is a more true black, whereas Sharpie is a bit more blue. Um, so keeping that into consideration. And also that whatever you create with these pens, the Micron pens, are gonna be a lot more long lasting than if you were to create something with Sharpie. But again, artists make choice, choices and you can choose whether or not 
you would like to use a micron pen or a sharpie marker. So in your syllabus, it says that you can grab either or or both a of markers and pencils. Um, these markers are fine tip pen or fine tip pens, and their tips. I'll pull them out for you guys. Their tips look a little bit more like this, which is all well and good for fine lines and creating colored lines um, with more detail. But if we're coloring in something, it can be a little tricky to get a nice even, um, a nice even color field. Um, and it's also harder to blend with these. Now, that's fine if you just wanna do outlines or if that's the style that you're looking for, but for the type of art that I usually do, and it's, again, all preference, um, I would prefer color pencils because you can get a gradient, you can blend, um, you know, they're easy to sharpen and they don't go out, they don't bleed into one another, and that's why I prefer color pencils but there are plenty of people who would say that I'm crazy and that markers are the way to go. It's all your choice of preference, either or. You can use some pretty cool combinations if you use both. Um, they're not super expensive, $6 to $8. Um, so if cost is something that's determining whether you're going to get a certain supply or not, um, pencils would be more cost effective. But again, it's all a choice. So the next thing that you are going to need to buy, and this is a requirement, is you're going to have to get a pack of gouache. Um, gouache is a really cool paint that is like a combination of acrylic paint and watercolor paint. It's water soluble, so it behaves a lot like watercolor, but it's very, very pigmented. So you're gonna get those really nice crisp lines. You're gonna get that beautiful, like fat, flat field of color. Um, I was a tongue twister. And uh, that's why we're requiring you to have a pack of gouache. Um, every artist that I've talked to really likes gouache, even if they don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So definitely pick yourself up one of these. Um, and then you can't use your fingers for gouache, unfortunately. I mean, I guess you could, but I don't think it would work super well. Um, but grab yourself a paintbrush. I actually prefer square paint brushes compared to round paint brushes because I feel like you can get straighter lines, but I've seen some really cool stuff come out of a round uh, paint brush and it's all up to you in preference. Um, you can go ahead and buy one of these from the art center, which is just fine. Um, these are going to be, they're sold individually and these are going to be more expensive, but I have found for my own art practice that I, you can go to Walmart, Michaels, or the Art Center probably has packs of brushes that you can buy, and they're far cheaper than buying one singular brush. Um, even as someone who is painted for most of their life, I still go back to the packs of brushes. Um, the one thing I do recommend is that you look at the hairs itself. Some of them are synthetic. And when you get softer hairs, those tend to work a lot better. You get smoother lines and you don't get um, sorts of like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but like pin hair, like you can tell that it's a brush stroke, whereas this you won't tell that it's a brush stroke because it's a softer hair. So now we're moving into the things that you probably already have and you might not need to buy. Um, glue. Glue stick in particular is usually pretty useful, less messy, you won't have to do anything. If you prefer um, wet glue, that's fine too. Uh, it's whatever that you would like, but you do need glue to go throughout the semester. Um, pencil sharpeners. So you don't necessarily have to get this particular pencil sharpener. They do have nice little metal ones that, that you have to hold over a garbage can. If you have a mechanical pencil sharpener at home already, it's fine if you use that. 
The one problem with those is for softer pencils, it might eat it up a little bit and you're kind of wasting more pencil than what you would have if you had a hand um, pencil sharpener. Plus these are a lot quieter, energy efficient, that sort of thing. But you just need one of these. Um, when you get nice artist grade quality pencils, they do not come with pencil cap erasers. So you're gonna have to buy an eraser. You can use kneaded erasers, um, and those are the ones that kind of look like clay, and you can move those around so that they get finer. Um, but I think that any sort of like white eraser would do well. You don't want pink erasers because if you rub too hard, it's gonna change the color of your paper pink. And that would be a problem if you're using it on a really nice piece of artwork. All right, now we have an X-Acto knife and blades. Um, so there's a lot of ways that you can use an X-Acto knife. Um, and I find that I personally love to make tiny holes and layers into my artwork. So if you choose to use an X-Acto knife, they can really add a cool textural element to your art. Um, not everybody might use this and that is up to you. Um, I recommend putting it on a piece of cardboard if you decide to cut so you don't cut up a table. Um, but if you decide to use an X-Acto knife, which I highly recommend, uh, you will also need blades because there is nothing worse than trying to cut with a dull X-Acto knife. All right, this is one of those things that you probably already have, is scissors. Um, you can get bigger scissors if you want, it's whatever you prefer, but you will need scissors. And if you already have them at your home, brilliant! If you don't, what are you doing? Get scissors, super useful. And last, but finally not least, this is a coupon. Go ahead and talk to your professor to see if they can grab you one of these because this will change your life with the discounts. Um, all in all, all of this stuff all together is about $80, but the discounts, it's going to be less if you choose not to buy everything or choose the cheaper options like the Sharpie markers instead of the Micron markers, then you're going to end up having a lower price as well. But again, it's how many choices you want to give yourself throughout the semester. And you can always pick these up more um, throughout the semester if you run out or if uh, you decide actually I really do think I need that exacto knife so it's all choices but these are your materials for the semester thank you